noise in your audio, whether it's a video production like we're doing here, there's a little bit of a fan noise in the light, or whether it's audio only for something like a podcast that I have there in the edit, how do you fix it? For me, I finally bought a plugin. There are free options in Audition, Audacity, but I waited for a super sale. But even at its full price, the Elements Pack is a great way to get in, and it's this denoise plugin that you really want. So I'm gonna show you how I'm using it to get what I think is fantastic results, the results that I was looking for for a long time. This finally got me there. Coincidentally, the audio that I recorded for this video that you just heard and saw. Is this making noise in my audio? This is it right here. And the noise floor is louder than I would like it to be ideally. So we're gonna have to push it a bit here on the denoise. Typically that ends up in bad results, but Isotope does a pretty great job on it even when you push it pretty hard. So this is the noise floor in the audio track. And if we just play that back, we'll see that on the audio meter, it's registering around the minus 40s. That's much louder than I want it to be. Ideally, when I'm not talking into the microphone, when I'm in a studio situation, a controlled environment, where I don't intend to have background noise, I want the audio to be peaking in the negative 60s. That would be ideal. Therefore, we only have to apply a little bit of the denoise, and it won't affect the main audio almost at all, and so it'll be completely transparent. So that is an ideal situation. Here, as I mentioned, there was a fan in the light, and it was really close to me. So I'm thinking that's where most of this noise floor is coming from. So I wanna reduce that as much as possible without degrading too much my actual dialogue. So to do this using Isotope, I will come up to my effects. I will toggle over to Restoration Isotope and RX Voice Denoise. What I'm gonna do is select that piece of audio, just the noise floor by itself, and then I'm gonna hit Adaptive Mode, and I'm gonna to toggle down the reduction all the way for now, and leave this threshold 10 dB all the way up, and then just let it play. And in fact, I'm going to loop it so that it can play repeatedly. And there we go. So it's adapting here to that noise floor, and. Once I can see that it's pretty much settled into where that noise floor is, I'm gonna go ahead and untoggle adaptive mode. From there, I'm gonna let it keep going, and then I'm going to drag the reduction slider up. And as I go, you'll be able to hear a reduction in that noise floor. So let's take a listen. All right, so I pushed it all the way up to its max that it's allowing me here, 25 dB, and you can hear or not hear any of that noise floor. We could easily drop by half of that and you wouldn't really hear the noise floor. But just for an extreme example, in this case of how good the Isotope plugin is, again, without having the adaptive mode checked so that our threshold stays the same, I'm gonna go ahead and click off this and then play through the audio so we can hear what that's doing to the actual dialogue. Noise in your audio, whether it's a video production like we have here or... That's pretty amazing given the fact that it's 25 dB a reduction. In fact, since you're not hearing the way it was originally recorded, most people would never know there's any reduction on that. So that is going to affect the audio. The noise is gone, but so is a lot of that brighter end of the frequency range. But I can handle that because what I'm going to do is I'm gonna restore that somewhat after I do the noise removal process here. And so of course, my recommendation is when you select your noise sample, again, just use the slider. You can see how the reduction is taking place in the audio meter. And then of course, be monitoring with good headphones and you'll be able to hear when that audio is cleaned up and only push it that far. But let's finalize the process by putting up full reduction here and then letting it run. So what we wanna do, make sure the adaptive mode is not checked, uncheck our selection so that the entire file is affected by the noise reduction and just the noise part of it. Or you could select all of it and do the same thing. I'm just gonna select none of it and in audition, it'll apply that to the entire file.
So just go ahead and hit apply. And you can see right here in the waveform that the noise floor is virtually gone, nice and clean. And then again, how it sounds on the audio. Noise in your audio, whether it's a video production like we have here or, and then we can go back and how it sounded before we cleaned it up. Noise in your audio, whether it's a video production like we have here or, and after. Noise in your audio, whether it's a video production like we have here or, a little bit of degradation throughout the frequencies, but I'm just gonna add back in some of those higher end frequencies. It's better to take stuff away, so what I'm gonna do is actually drop the low end via a high pass filter. Noise in your audio, whether it's a video production like we have here or... I'm also gonna reduce some of the lower mids, and then I'm gonna brighten up some of the high frequencies. Like we have here or... Noise in your audio, whether it's a video production like we have here or... And now it sounds fairly bright, not quite restored, but if we go ahead and apply that, here's before the EQ. Noise in your audio, whether it's a video production like we have here or after. Noise in your audio, whether it's a video production like we have here or. And so now the final audio sounds absolutely fantastic, super easy to fix, and that's a couple different options for handling noise in your audio or video productions. All right, hopefully that was pretty easy and pretty helpful. If you have the plugin, you can go ahead and try it yourself. Let me know the results that you get. I'm super happy with it. Check the links below. I will put the software that I'm using, even the older version, which you can get a pretty good deal on. And I'll see you next time. Leave your questions in the comments. I will come up to my effects, the restoration isotope, voice denoise. Select just the noise floor, hit adaptive mode, leave this threshold all the way up, loop it so that it can play. And as I go, you can see how the reduction is taking place in the audio meter. And then of course, be monitoring with good headphones and you'll be able to hear when that audio is cleaned up and only push it that far. Make sure the adaptive mode is not checked. Uncheck our selection and hit apply. And you can see right here in the waveform that the noise floor is gone, nice and clean.